Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the top multitask city of tweaks that you need to get for your devices, and I'm going to show you five of the best ones, and you can choose which one you think you could use the most. The first one I want to show you is called Card Switcher. This is probably my favorite of all the five, uh, simply because it's just an easy, you can use it with one hand very simple you know just to flip through with your thumb uh, you can set it to do different things such as you saw the cards that was up there you can set it to show different things like uh, you can, well first of all you select your activation method and mine was set to the double tap the home button and you see you get all these different gestures you can choose from simply just any activator you can think of and the style the cards is what I have chosen you may like the grid better you see you get four cards on the screen that way you can see more if you have a lot of apps running in the background a lot then that's probably going to be the fastest way to get to it and you just tap the card you want that's called card switcher and I'll have all the prices and everything in the description below the next one I want to show you is called Spiro and Spiro I'm going to be showing it on my iPad because I've got it on my iPad it is an awesome awesome let me back this camera up just a little bit for you guys hopefully you can see a little bit better here whenever I get this thing the way it should be. I'm wanting to show you the top status bar because that's where I'm going to be. All, right, all I have to do to activate it, again, you select your activator to whatever you want it to be. I chose swipe the status bar to the right. And up here at the top are the applications that I have chosen to put up here. And the second row is just your toggles like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, location, uh, volume, brightness, I mean, it, you know, it's very handy to have your brightness right here at your fingertips and the volume, 3G and all that. Third row is just a list about your device and the bottom row is the applications running in the background. And if there's anything, you know, you want to open from the background, you can, this is, for a lack of a better way to describe it to you, this is your app switcher open all the time right here. You can't change these. These are the apps that's running in the background. The ones at the top, you can change those. And you see you double you double tap the screen to bring it to deactivate it. Let me show you the settings here. Spiro. Alright. And you can get different plugins with it. Um, you can see I don't have any anything installed right now. But the to add an activator. That's what they're calling those apps at the top of the page. And you get 20 different ones, I think it is, yeah. And you can see how I don't have them all set. So if I wanted to set, say, well, that's general. But let's say I wanted to set 19 to iPod controls. Okay, now when we go back out, you should see that in the right here iPod controls and that's the, uh, one of the only downfalls to this for some reason the developer hasn't updated this yet and there's no icons for for like settings if you select a setting there's no icon for it it will still work but there's no icon for it and you saw that you have to simply just tap on the, the name um, or whatever see there it opens general it'll open it but it don't have an icon and that's weird you know he could just put a regular uh any old kind of icon up for that sake but okay let's go on to the next one okay guys this is called deck hd and it's for the ipad you can get the regular deck version and it's a dollar ninety nine dollar ninety nine by sb coders as well and what Deck HD does is it enables you to multitask from the side of your device. And you can select which side you want it to come from. I've got it set to open when I double tap the home button. 
And since my device is in the portrait position, I mean the landscape position, it's coming up across the top of the screen, which perf which I prefer myself. But if if you want it to appear on the side of your screen, you're going to have to get your iPad to come up in the first of all in the portrait position and you have to select an activator which I've got it to come up on the double tap of the home button now you can see it comes up on the left side and you can select whether you want it to come up on the left side or the right side and you can see right here I've got right you can choose that deck the deck right or left uh, actually you can change the toggles right here from custom actions to deck to toggles. I prefer custom actions and what that does is down here is the custom actions is what you get to pick. You, you can select like SMS or mail, um, action one, action two, let's say search Google, action three, let's say compose a mail and when we go back out, I'll show you what this is. And down here at the bottom, you've got preset applications too that you can see it. All right, you got the App Store for App One, App Two. You got Cydia. So it looks like those are already set. So let me show you how this looks. All right, these are your toggles over here on the side. Okay, and because my device isn't tilted enough let me see if I can lay this down here and get it to come up just enough to where we can get it to tilt right all right now let's try it all right now it's coming up so it's still not letting me all right anyway you get to hit this little arrow down here at the bottom all right here's my custom actions right here and I hit the little arrow button here it brings up all of my other toggles and here's my settings I can open for deck if I want to do that or I can go back in these are my customs where I set the uh, email I can compose an email directly from here all you have to do is tap that button or you remember we set uh, tweets search google compose a sms and that was the brightness okay which is pretty handy to have this is a cool multitask application once you figure out how to work it and it's not hard to, to use at all i don't mean it by that way you can set your ipod controls in here you can even start a voice uh action well it says sorry that won't be enabled to ios 6 so that's going to be something they're going to add for ios 6 is dictation for siri looks like and you can respring and all that stuff from inside here it's just a cool multitask application so check it out guys okay now this one here we're going to be looking at is arrow and to me, it's more of an iPhone application. And let's go in here to start with and turn down this brightness so it don't glare at you all. And if you watch my videos very much, you know I forget to do this all the time. To activate it, you just double tap the home button. That's how I got it set. And you can see all of my applications that are running in the background. I can simply swipe through them just like by swiping with my thumb and if I want to open any of them say I want to open Safari I could just tap it and it would automatically open it right up okay and arrow has got a few settings with it let's look at some of them you can select your gesture your overlay mode smile icons cover flow effect is the one I prefer Rotary is pretty cool though, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Here's Rotary. Alright. Go back out. Here's the wheel. You can see they're all on a big wheel there now. Okay, now let's go back in. Um, time machine. I just prefer the over of the cover flow effect. To me, that looks the best. 
and you can change your background from showcase to landing. Let's see what that looks like. Not much of a difference, but a oh well. Uh, vertical mode. If you want them to go up and down as opposed to horizontal, you know that's going to be left up to you. Pretty cool tweak, guys. That's Arrow. Check it out. It's a dollar ninety-nine. This is another one of my favorite multitask applications. This one is free in the Mod My repo, and it requires activator. You have to assign an activator gesture to this, and I've got double tap the status bar on the right side to pull it up. The only problem with this app is the developer could have taken it a whole lot further and allowed the user to select these applications. However, they are pretty useful. Settings, iTunes, Twitter, uh, Message, Wi-Fi, Cydia, and uh, Terminal. So those are your seven selections that you get pre-selected for you. But however, it is a free app, and to me, if you're a Mac user, you pretty much know what Command Tab it is, is anyway. So check it out. It's free. Don't forget, guys, to like the video. It really helps it get seen more. And please subscribe before you leave.